Apple has finished innovating. Every year we look at these iPhones and they spend billions and billions and billions and billions of dollars on R&D and what do they give us? It's the exact same phone that you've had in your pocket for the last five years. Nobody wants Apple's new iPhone 15 iPhone 15 Plus, iPhone 15 Pro, iPhone 15 Pro Max, you name it, nobody wants it. And I don't blame them. Apple has completely stopped innovating at this point. And in, a, in all reality, Apple has become a caricature of its innovative former self. There's some big words of the day. Apple has no innovation left. And I'm going to break that down for you today. And I think Everybody at this point has come to expect nothing burgers out of these iPhone launches. Hey, if you're just tuning in, my name is Chris for you, and we cover the biggest headlines of the day and what the AI trading data says about it. And if you're interested in that too, be sure to definitely hit the subscribe button down below and start trading with AI today. Go to ovtlyr.com to find out why outliers win. Now, back to the story here. We got new iPhone 15. So what's new about the iPhone 15? Let's let's jump right into it. Let's see, the iPhone and 15 and 15 Plus will come in five colors. Wow, the iPhone's gonna come in five colors. That's amazing. We got pink, yellow, green, blue, and black. <gasps> just that alone is gonna make me wanna go spend $1,000 for this. But let's continue on to see just how innovative Apple is. iPhone 15 Pro models will come in black titanium, white titanium, blue tit and natural titanium. Oh, wow. I can't wait to get rid of $1,000 just for that. Right? The, the, the Pro models include an A17 Bionic chip, and it will improve speed and performance. Right? As every single iPhone that ever comes out is the greatest iPhone ever, and everything before it is obsolete, all iPhone 15 models have the dynamic island for app notifications. A look that was introduced in last year, right? Oh, so that's great. So so a feature that they just introduced for iPhone 14, they're going to have for iPhone 15. Wow, how innovative. The iPhone comes in two sizes. Huh, have they ever come in two sizes before? Huh, I guess I'm going to have to go buy both of them to see what it is. Oh, and don't forget, it has an improved 48 megapixel camera. Wow. All right, as you can tell, there's an extreme load of sarcasm with all this because in all reality, Apple has finished innovating. The iPhone cycle has come to its termination point. Why, right? Every year we look at these iPhones and they spend billions and billions and billions and billions of dollars on R&D and what do they give us? An improved camera, a slightly faster chip, right? A slightly better battery life. But at the end of the day, it's the exact same phone that you've had in your pocket for the last five years, right? This is an iPhone 13 Pro and it's not changed since then. And it hadn't changed from two iPhones before that, right? When you look at these iPhones and, and I've experienced this and maybe you have too, whenever you get the new iPhone, you're so excited. Oh, it's something shiny and new. I can't wait to open it. You rip open the packaging. You, you have that, that satisfying box opening experience. And then you look at it and you're like, Oh, it's the same as my old iPhone. Well, I just spent $1,000 on this. I guess I'll use it. That's the experience I've had for several phones now. And I guarantee you that's exactly what the experience is going to be for the people who get their brand new Apple i5 Apple i15 phones? Apple iPhone 15s. So what will the iPhone 15 cost? Well, clearly... In Joe Biden's America, everything costs more these days, right? So the iPhone 15 will cost $799, while the 15 Plus will start at $1599. And uh, that's the same price as the iPhone 14 model. So that's a huge win right there. I got to say that it's a huge win for us consumers, right? The iPhone 15 Pro will start at $999, so $1,000, which is the same price as iPhone 14 Pro. All right. Uh, okay. Okay. The iPhone 15 Pro Max is up $100, though, to $1199. So you're telling me that if I want to get all the coolest, newest features because this iPhone that I have right here is completely obsolete. I can't even turn it on anymore. It's so obsolete. Sarcasm heavily included right there. I'm going to have to spend $1,200 to get the newest iPhone, which does 99% of the same as what my current iPhone does. This is what I'm saying. Apple's iPhone business is toast. Anybody who tells you that the iPhone mega cycle, like we just talked about this on Monday, uh, be sure to check out Monday's episode for that. Anybody who tells you that the iPhone mega cycle is going to help boost the stock price and it's going to have incredible 20% uh, returns from this new gain is completely 
lying, right? They got something to sell you, probably a bridge. <laughs> but I gotta say, the uh, the new iPhone, I'm not impressed at all. And neither is the um, the market, right? But let's take a quick look at the outlier data. So this is the AI trading data I was telling you about. I will say the AI data does show that there are some promising um, returns that could be coming here for Apple. In fact, we've got a buy signal that just happened on August 31st. So if you're interested in Apple, I would definitely go and check out outlier.com, O-V-T-L-Y-R.com to see where you can learn more about this and get the trading data that you need. But let's see what people are saying about it in the comments. Apple was down 2% after the news. Uh, this happens when you stop innovating and release a similar thing every year, right? Look at Samsung and their flip phones. Start innovating, Apple. Listen, I'm an Apple guy. I'm an Apple fanboy. I buy all their stuff, but I am the first to say that I'm bored of what they sell. Start innovating, right? It was down over 16% with the China's announcement earlier in the week, and being down 2% is just another uh, hit to Apple, right? People wanna, people would have to buy now, people would have by now realized that, that uh, there we go, they won't miss anything and they can continue with the same old iPhone for the next two to three years. Exactly, you can continue with this for the next two to three years because nothing's changed. Innovation died, it's just business now. And, um, oh, the biggest innovation of all, it weighs one gram less. Wow, all that R&D effort into one gram. Incredible. So yeah, if you feel the same way about Apple, let us know in the comments down below and be sure to smash the like button so you get more of this type of news delivered to you every single week. So if you've enjoyed that video today, be sure to click one of these two. YouTube thinks you're gonna love them. All right, and that's gonna cover everything for today's Outlier Live. Thanks so much for watching.